everyone and welcome back yes thank you for joining me Bob Vapes here so this one here will be just some vape talk some vape news that kind of stuff how are you all been uh, thank you to everyone uh, I, I thought I'd start off thank you to everyone who's already subscribed and everything like that it's been amazing so yeah um, it's gonna be plenty more content coming out soon um, I did. I know I did say about the funny videos and stuff like that. I was going to start adding them in. Well, I'm starting to realise that number one, I don't have the equipment uh, just yet, and number two, it's a little bit out my uh, skill set to try and pull off some of these um, silly ideas that I've got going on. But I will do them at some point. I've got a few. I've been writing them down and that. So I'm hoping. At some point, I know one of my friends and that he's going to lend me a um, a GoPro soon. So I'm hoping that that might help um, with some of them. And then I need to talk to someone else about, you know, just uh, some different ways of editing and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, um, so I thought I'd start off with a little bit of what I've got at the moment. So, yeah, uh, I got these in. Now, if you watched my video, my last video, I did an interview with uh, Shane, Big Boy Coils. And he told me that he had some Flapton, Flapton, hold on, hold on. I knew I'd, for, I knew I'd forget the name. Well, I'm not starting this one again. God knows what I'll be like if I was live, because this is about like the third or fourth time I've just tried even the intro. So when, whenever I do a live, make sure you're tuned in because it's like guaranteed going to be car crash. So yes, anyway, he was talking and he sent me the mech framed staple coils. That's what they're called. And yeah, I installed them earlier today and I've got to say, I'm absolutely loving them. They're amazing. Ramp up on them is brilliant for a mech and flavors awesome they they look really nice like you know i know that's not a thing really but yeah i'm absolutely loving them and now normally um i am on pretty much i'd say around about 80 percent of my vaping now i am on this like i mean i've had this mod now since the first day i opened the shop it's just one of them beta mods that i just constantly use with the kylan and with Custard Dynasty from uh, Brews Bros, I vape that constant, constant, constant. But I'm gonna have to, I have to try and break it up a little bit. I just know that at some point, and I'm gonna vape it too much, and I, you know, you just get that vapor's tongue and everything, and I don't want that. I love it too much, so I decided to break it up. And I got in uh, twelve monkeys. Uh, you're probably not gonna see that very well there, but I got in four of the range so far. Um, I got in Hakuna. I got Bonogut, I got Harambe, and I got uh, Manga Bees, Manga Bays, however you say it. All actually really nice flavours. Um, I said on my Vape Jam vlog, and that is like I normally think as a customer, so I tend to go for all like the you know unusual ones and stuff. So this time I bit the bullet a little bit and I just went out and I thought, you know what, 12 monkeys, they sell really, really well everywhere. And uh, whenever I've been to like an expo or anything like that, they've always, their, their stand has always been one of the most busiest. So I'm like, well, you know, if they're so packed, you know, people must really like them. So I brought them in, I tried them all. Okay, yeah, I hold my hands up. They are really, really good juices really nice refreshing juices perfect i guess for this time of year as it's getting warmer you wouldn't believe that me sitting here with a hoodie on um one that stood out for me at the moment of the four and i had to uh, have a bottle for myself is the hakuna now this one is uh two different types of apples and says it's got an undertone of uh, cranberry finish i absolutely I'm loving this at the moment and it's like completely out of um, my flavor sort of profile normally I mean I'm you know most I mean custard you know so it's custards or you know desserty flavors I mean I even like you know the kernel uh, sweet and salt you've got to try this by the way like it's unusual but really nice but anyway yeah it's just some uh, fruity goodness Uh, 
and as you can see them coils are kicking out some uh, serious vapors uh, I tend to be using as well I mean I've got this in constant rotation as well this is my little cuboid and I have the cedar reserve spearmint in this this is like if you like spearmint or minty stuff and that uh, for like a mouth to lung the cedar reserve spearmint is really really good um, I always get my customers to try it, even if it's out of their flavor profile just like come on just just try this one you and nine times out of ten it surprises them if it's out of their flavor profile that is if it's in their flavor profile then they're not surprised and they love it mm -mm. So yeah, the, the big boy coils, um, they will be coming in store very soon. I've got him um, mix, uh, mixing, mixing, or uh, I don't know what, you know, zzz, 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 drilling it. Got him drilling me some uh, coils and that, so they should be coming in soon. And uh, yeah, uh, got some new flavors coming in this week. Um, so I'll put up another video at the end of this week. I'll show off some of the new stuff I've got. I've got the V200 coming in. Um, I've got a bonzer coming in as well. Um, I mean, they're, they're bonzers and that. They seem to be flying out all the time. Every time I go to order on the wholesale and that, they always seem to be out of stock. I've got some. So, yeah, I'll put up another video. I'll show some of the other new stock that I've got coming, some of the new juices and that I've got coming in as well and that, and I'll uh, talk you through a few of them. Uh, so, what was, should we kick off with uh, Expo? Yes. So as you know, I went to Jam, uh, really, really enjoyed it, had a good day, met a load of people, met Mr. Grim Green, you know, proper fanboy on him. And uh, the next one is the NEC Expo that's coming up, and that one is like, you know, at least twice as big. It is absolutely massive. Well, they tout it as the biggest um, expo in Europe, so it's pretty darn big. So I thought, you know what, I mean, I really wanted to go. I want to go and, uh, you know, see some, you know, more people, make some more contacts, all that sort of thing. But with Jam, the only thing that I um, I did wrong with Jam was uh, I just went for the one day. I went for the B2B. Uh, so, you know, obviously we, we set off in the morning. And then by the time you get there, you're looking for, you know, to get something to drink and, you know, have a quick sort of scout about, see what's about. Uh, you have a look around for a bit then you want to go and sit down again and have a like something to eat and a drink again and then by the time you go back and look around again you know you're sort of like looking at the clock and it's like oh god you know it's three o'clock we've got to think about going because you've got the drive home and everything like that and um, especially if I'm driving all the way back to Lauf as well I mean it's it's quite a distance so this time with Expo I've decided to um, book the VIP ticket, so it, it entitles me to all the days, and also I've got a hotel this time, so I am going to stay uh, for the Friday, the B2B, and I'm going to stay on the Saturday as well. I, I'm coming home on the Saturday evening, um, just you know because I'm actually hosting a vape night that night myself anyway as well, so I need to be driving back. But yeah, more of that in a minute. So yeah, um, I thought, you know, two days is going to be so much better. And I, I would, yeah, I'd highly recommend anyone who's going to go to try and get a hotel or anything like that to, to stay over. The reason being is and that you just, you can relax a little bit more. I can get there, I can park up, put my stuff in the hotel, uh, go over to the event and just relax and just you know have a casual walk around I can have a few drinks and and then you know sort of mark down anything that I I may have missed that I really want to go and see then I can go back on the Saturday during the day uh, so yeah we're gonna do that and then yeah some um, self news I guess or however you call it um, yeah we're hosting a vape night on the 5th now it's I know it's Vape Expo weekend, but I've done that on purpose, and the reason being is is because we're all the way up in Louth. So if you are anywhere in like the Lincolnshire area, Grimsby, um, Skegness, Mablethorpe, Cleethorpes, you know, any, any, anywhere around that sort of area, and that, and you 
you can't get all the way down to Expo, then you know we're going to be hosting our own little a little event here. I've got Embay to go. Now, if you're from the Peterborough area, you'll be aware of Embay to go. He makes oh, absolutely amazing Caribbean food. I've tried it a few times. It is absolutely to die for. It's amazing. So yeah, he's he's agreed to come up and he's going to be cooking up up some lovely food for the evening. And that, so I'm going to have that going on. I'm just going to have like a couple of discounts. Um, probably going to do like I, I'm toying with the idea of maybe doing like a quiz or something like that. Uh, what I don't want to do, I don't want to do like a cloud comp or something like that because I don't want it to be your, you know your sort of typical uh, vape event. I do quite like to try and think of different things, like a little bit outside the box, should I say. So yeah, with the Caribbean food, maybe some sort of quiz. It's obviously going to be like the discounts and stuff like that on the night as well. Um, you know, play a bit of music, uh, that type of thing. Um, what I'm going to do as well is I'm obviously going to video Expo um, around there a little bit or take pictures and that like I did last time. And then I'll do some for the vape event as well i might even go live i'm not sure whether i'd go live on here or my instagram or anything like that but you know follow, follow me on the instagram um on our facebook page as well phoenix coffee and vape lounge lauf uh, that type of thing i'm not sure which one will work best at the moment um to put up the live feed but i'll be doing it on one of them anyway uh duh, 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 duh. and also self-serving news um this week i'm going to be looking into more so um alcohol license um first of all and that there's a few things i need to find out first firstly is like my landlord going to be pleased uh, and allow us to do it um so if that first of all falls down flat on its face then i'll let you know and then this whole conversation is pointless but anyway i'm quite excited about it i really you know i want to talk about it um, and then obviously, yeah, I'm going to do my personal license and the company also actually release the uh, premise license for you and that as well. They'll do all that for me. Um, I don't see a problem with any of them too. Um, you know, the, the the personal license is pretty easy to get hold of and so is the uh, premise license. As long as obviously we're not going to be, um, you know, like a nightclub or something like that, which clearly we're not. Yeah, so I'm quite excited about that, really. I mean, you know, we do the coffees and that here at the moment and the cold drinks uh, on the monster at the moment. Yeah, so, um, and I love beer as well. I'm actually going to try and add some of uh, beer content into this uh, into this uh, vape channel at some point in that. You know, inspiration from Mr. Green, should I say, because he's the one that got me into the real owls. So yeah, I'm a I'm a you know crafty beer person and that and stuff like that. So I think that'd be really cool to, you know, implement some some alcohol um, along with like obviously the coffee, the cold drinks, and the vape. They all sort of seem to mingle in as one. So yeah, I'll let you know, you know, the developments of that as and when they when they happen for sure. Uh, so that's that's it for now on you know in terms of self you know promoting news uh the we'll go on to normal news now and uh the first article that i'd like to talk about is there was one uh a bit of good news for down under so professor mandelson's professor mandelson's I'm not saying that right, but yeah, that's how it's pronounced. A uh, latest study published on the Internal uh, Medicine Journal for the Royal Australian College of Physicians says that doctors should recommend vape kit for patients who have struggled to quit smoking through traditional routes. Now, this is something obviously that the UK um, have started to implement themselves and that and it's going up and down the country and that. Um, Australia has been battling a little bit with um you know vaping and stuff like that so this is good news for anyone that's uh down under and he goes on you know he's talking about how um in in australia they've got the plain packaging um they've got the real high prices and that of smoking and stuff like that and 
they're basically saying in that that it's not incre- uh, not decreased the amount of smokers at all. Whereas he's looking at all the countries like ourselves that have uh, implemented, you know, vaping and welcome vaping and that, that the uh, decline in smoking, you know, is visible and it's like really dramatic in some places as well. So, you know, that's uh, that's really good news. Um, obviously, and that, you know, if you do watch this down under, which um, I guess um, not at the moment, but if you did, then yeah, well, you know, hopefully, fingers crossed, you start taking a leaf out of um, the UK's books. Uh, talking of like UK, European and that, I also did read a little bit the other day about the, all the governments and that are talking about a proposal and raising the price of tobacco up to 50%. Can you imagine that? I think like, what is it now? About 10, 11 quid for a packet of 20 cigarettes. I mean, I haven't bought any for nearly four years now, but I think it's around that that price. And they raise it by another 50%. Now, that surely would pretty much kill it for most people. Uh, you know, you, you would have to be absolutely minted or you just cannot, cannot come off of cigarettes for you to carry on. Because, yeah, you'd, you'd literally spend pretty much all your money on it. Uh, you know, I, I mean, I'm not sure how they can implement it you know, the other 50%, you know, you know, there's going to be obviously uproar for people that, that you know, just carry, want to carry on smoking, but are obviously of the lower income group. And that, I mean, it's going to really, really hurt them, basically. But I guess that's what they're trying to do. But then again, you know, oh, I don't get it. I don't get it. Whether it's like a ban or anything like that, I'm not sure. But but anyway, raising it by 50% surely would um, kill off, you know, pretty much most tobacco sales. So, yeah, if, um, you know, you know of any of your friends that are still smoking and that, warn them of that and just tell them, you know, maybe you want to start trying to think of uh, vaping now. Get into it before anything like that happens. And lastly, and that, what I come across, which I found quite interesting, was um, e-cigarette advice has been given to nurses so they've been given the uh, top 10 um, tips on you know someone coming into the doctors asking about you know they want to try and quit smoking they can't quit smoking stuff like that um, uh, they've been given yeah the top 10 tips they were written by Kevin Kenny a stop smoking nurse specialist at the Chelsea Westminster Hospital apparently so these are the top 10 tips. You talk about e-cigarettes positively. Uh, you encourage e-cigarettes as part of a quit attempt. You advise vapors that they are not alone. Clearly not alone. Uh, get nic- get the right nicotine strength. Yeah, that, that is important. I mean, I, I do get a lot of people coming in and they want, they want to be as low as possible almost instantly. I think, you know, a lot of people have this like... You know, it like to to them the nicotine is like the tobacco for them. It's just like that. That's the measurement. I need to get rid of that as soon as possible. Get rid of the tobacco first. Get rid of all the other toxins and that first, and then you can lower your nicotine if you wanted to. And that nicotine in in the doses that you're gonna get is gonna be about as harmful as having a couple of cups of coffee or having a can of Monster. So you know, it, it's that sort of levels anyway. Uh, number five is inform that inhaling from an e-cigarette is different than dragging on a cigarette. Uh, that is, you know, pretty much spot on. Like uh, I say spot on, but that's pretty much there. Uh, there are e-cigarettes out there that are almost like that cigarette type drawer. So you can find ones and that as long as like they, they look in the right places, you, you know, you get the right e- equipment and that. There are some uh, tanks and stuff out there you know, that can really sort of replicate that experience, that mouth to lung experience and stuff. Uh, Champion harm reduction is number six, because yes, you know, like I've said to you before, and like anyone who watches this will know, that's what it is. It's harm reduction. You know, we are not healthy, 
but it's a darn sight healthier than smoking so that's what you're doing you're you know you're just cutting that risk down by what um a lot of people like the uh, uh public health england and stuff like that are saying it's 95 percent better so you you know you're cutting that risk by 95 percent, which is which is uh, very good uh, number seven, endorse vaping and nicotine replacement therapy. So, you know, obviously in that if they really don't want to vape or they can't deal with vaping, then obviously there's uh, other sort of NRT options and that. You've got your patches and stuff. But, you know, I mean, I'm an advocate for vaping. It just worked for me. You're carrying on with that little habit of yours and the hand-to-mouth and stuff like that. Number eight, Advise using an e-cigarette for no more than three months. Now that says advise using an e-cigarette for no no more than three months. It's it's a bit of a weird one to put in sort of like at number eight on this um, top ten tips, and that um, I don't know if like if they literally just say oh, I wouldn't advise you using it for more than three months that people will think you know that that would be a negative on that because like what why would you just say just the three months surely just the longer and longer you can stay off smoking the better i mean i know some people that have been vaping for like six months eight months and uh they they go out with their mates and pick up one cigarette and start again so you know that that addiction doesn't go so quickly so that that was the one that was really sort of like head scratchy for me when i read that one it was just like you know they don't even need to add that one in i don't think as long as you're just vaping and you're not smoking then you know that's a good thing and there are loads of people that are looking to use vaping to get away from smoking well i say a vast majority of people and and that obviously is the healthiest thing to do but do it you know as and when you feel comfortable so you know if you're starting on your little ego eco and you've got 18 milligram in there and you, you know you're vaping away and you're just like oh that's doing it right you know it might take you like two three months to even come down to like 12 milligram before you feel like you're you're ready to start reducing your nicotine levels and things like that so don't you know don't read into that at all that's that's a bit of a strange one you know just just try and keep on vaping for as long as possible i would say um until yeah if you want to quit sorry and then you know come away from it all together when you're ready you know when you when you feel like you know you're not needing that nicotine hit anymore when you're not you know when you're not picking it up all the time and or you're going to zero nicotine and you know try that for a little bit and you feel like you know what i don't even need this anymore then do it like that uh number nine is recommend vaping for a forced abstinence so yeah it's just you know use it to you know really try and just like stop almost straight away or like you know cut away you know, sort of like 50 60 70 percent of your smoking and that you know i'd definitely say that you know yeah um people do always do it differently the way they start it and that you know but basically what it is is always trying to pick up your e-cig like as many times as possible you know in replace of the smoking as much as much as possible so it's like you know it's that forced you know sort of like i'm not going to have the cigarette i'm going to have the vaping instead and uh, number 10 warn about the amount of e-cigarettes options on the market now this one again was a little bit like okay why warn you know it sounds like very daunting doesn't it you know like warn about the amount of e-cigarette options on the market um for one, okay, that is, you know, true to some respect. I mean, you know, that there are companies out there like Joytech and stuff like that that just release after release of different, you know, devices and, you know, all that sort of stuff. It's, you know, if I was a vape reviewer, I'd be going mad at, you know, the amount of stuff that you would need to try and stay relevant. It's crazy, crazy. Um, but just, it should just say number 10, go to a vape shop and go and talk to you know a local vape shop or something like that or talk to one of your friends who's a vapor because you can keep it so so simple you know yes okay there's loads and loads on the market but i'm going to keep on picking this up because yeah it's perfect for you know people that that are in this bracket it's just really simple it's really simple to use it's light it's small there's plenty of them you're always going to get the coils it fits 
any juice that you want to put inside it and everything like that okay yes there are a lot of options on the market but if you go in and talk to a vape shop uh you know to talk to one of the employees or anything like that you know they will steer you in that right direction obviously with the right kit for you as long as they're a, a legit um vape shop and they sell you the right stuff so yeah that you know i think that's mainly positive i mean like you know eight out of ten of them are uh, positive things and obviously also it is you know uh getting nurses to really sort of advocate the, the the vaping market i just think maybe they should have probably um talked to uh, you know a vapor and that as well because i don't think they would have added two of them in at least or they may you know or it could just say um you know we recommend e-cigarettes go and visit your local vape shop and they can tell you more like that you know that that could have been two points there really couldn't it so yeah uh that's about it for today really um as i say i'm going to try and do another video towards the end of this week um you know, as long as i'm not too busy um i'm doing other little uh, projects and that uh go and visit my instagram i try and upload on there um you know as much as i can um anything new that comes in as well that's on there and also on the facebook page and stuff like that if you liked this video, you know, you like what you see and you want to see some more and that, please try and support me. Give me a like, give me a share, give me a comment, uh, give me a sub. That would be absolutely amazing. But yeah, until next time, bye-bye.